remember all these guys. These are just some of the cats, right? We move them down from the kennel as we get space down here. Uh, and that's partly so here doesn't get too crowded. But all these guys, like, they'll get adopted eventually. It just takes time. Heaven Can Wait is about six weeks away from having to close their doors. Kim Hessel has been running the animal shelter since 1999 and says her costs are getting out of control. Between owing money to vets to all the monthly expenses for taking care of the animals, she's almost out of money. If I'm really careful, maybe December. So that's not very long. Um, there's a little bit of uh, my personal investments left, and we have been using those to kind of shore us up the last two years, frankly, but especially the last six months. And I don't see any other answer. I, I don't see any other immediate answer anyway. We've had some pretty good discussions about some things we can do for long term that can maybe change how how stable we are. And I think that they're all good suggestions and we need to spend the time and look at them. We've got some good people have come forward uh, even just in the past couple of weeks when I was talking privately about it. Um, but those things take time. You know, they do take time and it's not going to affect oh. December. <laughs> I'm like, December's only two months away. So that's, that's more what prompted me too, to put something out now and to see. And part of it too was to see like, did does the community want us even to be here? Or is it just a natural end? And I'm really grateful that the texts and the calls that I've had so far this morning are positive. And, they, and they're saying things like, no, I mean, let's do what we can to help you and let's figure out a way. Essel says the vets and vendors have been great, but they have bills to pay too. And with over $23,000 in outstanding vet bills, she can't hold them off forever. I look at uh, I look at Dr. Brent and Yoland, and I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful that they don't say, "Sorry, Kim, we can't do any more surgeries or appointments until you pay up your bill." They've been carrying us for a while. I need to get that bill down. I need to get that bill down with them, partly because we obviously need to continue veterinary care, but also because Brent and Yoland have debts and they have families and they have staff and expenses and all those things too. Like, same with Dr. Dirk and Mike and Nanton. Like, Nanton's been our overflow clinic and we owe them about 5000 right now. And, and the clinic deserves that money. They, they've done that work for us and they've given us good discounts. So we do get discounts. We don't have to... We've negotiated those rates, and Brent has always been so good to us on that. I want to get those bills paid down. Essel says she's never been one to ask for help, but a late-night Facebook post Wednesday night asking for help as her hoping the community will step up and show they want her to continue her operation. I mean, animals, to me, aren't about making money off of them. It's about caring for them properly, and it's about taking responsibility, doing the vet care, doing the spay-neuter, making the whole overpopulation issue less and less and less, hopefully, in our town and the community. I don't want to get rich. I just want to keep this thing going. And I want to I want to know that we're doing it for the right reasons and that the town's supporting us for the right reasons. A GoFundMe page has already been set up in the shelter's name. Go to our websites for a link.